Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to Earth. We're starting off our show here in Kingsport, Tennessee, a city known for research and development that impacts many of the products that we use every day. You know, we live in a circular economy with a growing population that has problems that can and must be solved, but today the problems are so complex, they have to be solved at the molecular level. Let's take a look. With a global population that is surpassing 7.5 billion, on its way to 10 billion in the decades ahead, we all want products that are good for this planet and enhance the quality of our lives. Unfortunately, many of those plastic products are now polluting our waterways and landfills. The challenges facing mankind are rising, and they must be solved in a sustainable way. The fact is basically there's 80 million more people each year being brought onto the earth and we've got problems both with hydration and with feeding the population. One is the solutions have to first be at scale, which we are as a $10 billion company. And then secondly, the problems are so complex, they have to really be solved at a molecular level. Eastman is a global specialty materials company in Kingsport, Tennessee, that produces a broad range of products found in the items people use every day with nearly a century of history in providing material solutions for communities around the globe. For Eastman, I think we've been at the heart of innovation and it's been our purpose uh, since we started. So next year will be our 100th anniversary as Eastman. We had a long history of being part of Kodak and then eventually being spun off as a separate company in 94. So our primary goal has existed for a very long time and our moral stated purpose is to enhance the quality of life in a material way. So as we think about it, we're in the materials business. Our job is to improve the quality of materials. If you look at it decades ago, it was providing higher quality products for people to improve their quality of life. Today, the fundamental opportunity is, how do we make these products more environmentally sensitive? Eastman today has grown to a company of nearly 15,000 employees, serving customers in over 100 countries, with a pipeline of innovations to enhance life in a sustainable way, from enabling lightweight cars to enhanced water treatment. Theirs is a mission dedicated to sustainability, while addressing the changing needs of the world and its growing population. I think we are at a tipping point with sustainability. I think in years past it's been a nice to have, but at this point it has become a requirement. So consumers are requiring it, brands are requiring it, and our customers are demanding it. So as you, as you look at the uh, commitments that big brands have made and the stakes they put in the ground about their future commitments, sustainability is at the heart of those, and we have to deliver the right solutions. One of the things I'm really excited about is how we've sort of repurposed innovation. Instead of figuring out how to make new things, we're actually going to figure out how to give new life to old things or things that don't have any, any no longer have a current value. So we're going to talk about waste plastics. It's sustainable research that takes place here in one of hundreds of Eastman labs on site. End of life research on things such as plastic cups and plastic straws to make them compostable or recyclable to last a very long time. I'm excited that we're really trying to help the earth and make this world a better place for all of us to live in. So, you know, we're, we're helping the environment, we're helping humans, we're helping animals by trying to get plastic out of the waste stream, trying to get it out of the landfills, and making durable products that people use really for as long as they want to. This research is not only to innovate new products and applications, but also to pursue innovative recycling solutions to address the circular economy and the growing challenge of waste plastic in our environment. Eastman recently announced two new technologies that will significantly impact the global issue of plastic waste. We're in the process of commercializing by the end of 2019 two new technologies, one that's focused on polyester plastics so PET, think water bottles, and the second that is more robust than even the first, where we're saying that we will basically take back any waste plastics um, and pull them out of the environment and rebuild them back up into useful materials. By harnessing the power of chemistry, we can break them back down into molecules that we can then rebuild into new materials we sell on the market. This is really exciting technology. So 
instead of going from just bottle to bottle type recycling that you do with mechanical recycling, we now have the opportunity to take a whole mix of materials. So for our methanolysis process in particular, we could use different types of feedstocks that are polyester based. But with these materials, it gives us a chance to create products that don't have any of the limitations that might go along with degradation over time and mechanical recycling. The legacy we want to have is building on a history of innovation. Right? So Eastman's been around for 100 years. We've been an innovator enhancing the quality of life uh, and making a huge impact on a lot of different products. But as we look at the world today and where we need to be innovative is actually on the circular economy and figuring out how we make a huge difference on that front. We are developing innovative materials that will have a responsible beginning of life and a responsible end of life. So the secret to solving our global plastic waste problem and so many other issues facing the world today may very well mean going back to the basics and starting again at the molecular level.